Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome to a, another tutorial here, and uh, this is for making your renders look much more realistic than they already do. So I just exported this with Keyshot here. I did some post-production with uh, Photoshop. As you can see, the background is just like that. So uh, to get the car in there, let's open up Keyshot quickly. You see that it's overlapping this little... Uh, what do you want to call it like strut tower type thing I don't know support beam so basically I just imported the background cut that out and uh, layered it over top of the car and then put a little shadow on it there uh, so the next thing you can do to make this more realistic after Photoshop here uh, you could add some smoke around here which I might actually do if I have I don't know if I still have any I doubt it. No, I don't think I have any uh, smoke effects, and I'm not going to go and search for it. So we're just going to export this here uh, as RX7 render RX67 what? RX7 Photoshop photo, Photoshop and save it as a PNG. Go ahead and click OK. And we're going to come into Lightroom here uh, as soon as this finishes saving here. Because it's a 4K image, I rendered out in 4K by the way. Uh, so because it is a 4K image, it takes a very long time to export as you can see here. Uh, it also takes a very long time to uh, upload, for example. Uh, if we go to from here into Lightroom, just click on import and uh, go over here, click desktop uncheck all photos and then you're going to search for the one you did rx7 photoshop go ahead and import that then just click on it come over to develop and i'm going to quickly crop it to get rid of these black black lines there now this photo will still be very high res and i'm going to crop it up just a little bit like that to get rid of the excess and now we're going to just want to mess with this the exposure we can drop down i don't really play too much with it I might drop it down a little bit and turn the contrast up just a tad highlights down a little bit more shadows I'm gonna leave about the same our whites you can obviously make it much more overexposed or if you do if you turn it down the car seems clear but as you can see the background here it doesn't look as good outside so I'm going to put that back up actually to around plus 10. Our blacks we can drop and you can see how weird that looks. But I'm not going to mess with that. And then here is where the realism effect comes in. This clarity here. You're just going to bump that all the way up to 100. And then you want to mess around with the vibrance and the saturation to get it about right. Uh, you just mess with it however you want. And then you can come up here and screw around with a little bit a little bit more uh, as you can see the more contrast you have the everything just changes <laughs> so you just want to go around and see what looks the best to you this is a weird image to be working with in my opinion uh, our whites I might actually reset this uh, actually that looks pretty decent it's not the best that I've had but it looks pretty good and then I'm just gonna turn the vignette up up to about 15 there and that's basically it now you can go ahead up here to file export uh, and then I just select rename to my desktop export it and then we can go over here and import it back into Photoshop uh, RX7 it'll be the JPEG one there we go and if you see we switched between the two it'll actually be easier to show you in Lightroom here uh, can I get a good one not really I can't really get it in the best position here uh, but if you see side by side it's much different uh, it looks much more real in the image on the right in my opinion anyway and in pretty much everyone else's opinion but uh, yeah, that's how you do it. Uh, and then we can go into Photoshop and add some more shadows in around here. As you can see, it sort of looks empty. 
Um, I might touch up on this to make it a little bit better, but since it's uh, it's not too noticeable, so I'm not going to really show that in the tutorial. Um, but yeah, other than that, you can just come into Photoshop here, add your watermark, you can go ahead and make a new layer, do what some people do and throw a random little gradient over it. Let's do... What sort of gradient would look good here? Let's try this. Let's go ahead and do that. Throw that across. And then we'll just go through all of our things here and see which one looks the best. Certainly none of those do, but uh, you never know. <laughs> That one actually looks pretty cool, but it's more of a uh, cool color. Did not expect to see that. Um, so it was one of the first ones, I believe, that looked the best. Soft light looks pretty decent on it. Um, overlay is also not too bad. If you're going for more of an edit effect, edited effect. Uh, which other one was there? None. Yes. All right, so we're going to go with... Uh, soft light there and then we can just adjust that down to however much you want How about that should be fine I don't usually do any of these gradient overlay effects sort of things uh, just because I'm not not too into it this is what a bad render I did but uh, I need my watermarks go ahead and drag that over I hate this. Stupid, there's too many windows open and then I can't get into it. Uh, here we go. This should be good. Drag that over there. And then we just throw those onto a position that looks pretty good and we are done. That is how you get a more realistic looking render. Um, it obviously looks much better in person than it probably does on this recording. But I will leave a full high definition link of this in the description if you guys do want to download it. Uh, anyway, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.